Well, I want to talk about something serious, and I am serious about talking serious. <laughs> I'm never serious, uh, but this is serious. Uh, it's about healthcare, and a lot of people rather get money and stuff like that, and they rather read <clears throat> what I know about getting free money. But I tell you, getting free healthcare is a lot more important because you won't be around to get the free money. Uh, or anything. If you don't take care of yourself and get good health care, and th- this country is <clears throat> one of the worst in the developed countries of providing health care for people, particularly people without money. Uh, and, and it's such a pity because they need it most to, to have the most energy possible uh, to try to survive in our economy. Yeah? Uh, so you need that health care. And, and what has happened this year is that they're giving out more grants than ever for you to afford health care. Now, on the Obamacare, or it's healthcare.gov, uh, it's cheaper now than ever. And cheap, I mean, cheap. they say that every, uh, uh, here's the data. Uh, you're right. Okay. Here, 40% increase in the number of people who applied for the Obamacare health care. Why? Because they're giving more grants than ever before for you to afford health care. Now, listen to this. This is an important number. Four out of five people who sign up now for health care have premiums of less than $10. That's right, $10. So you're spending $10 a month. If you're Let's Go Help, man, you're paying $20, get rid of this. Get rid of Let's Go Help and, and go and put that $10 to your health care. Uh, I don't need the money. Your health needs the money faster. Your, your health is more important than... Uh, what we're doing here. I mean, you, there's too much you know, health problems, mental health particularly, that's happening. So all that, you you have to have that backup. But people don't go and get health care they need because they can't afford it. And they don't have a program or whatever. So here's a program, $10 a month. That's the average, four out of five, not average, four out of five, okay? So 80% of the people uh, that apply are paying ten dollars a month or less? Wow, you know uh, that's half the price of Let's Go Help. <laughs> so quit me, quit me, and, and sign up for Obamacare now. When you get there, the problem is if you put in Obamacare or whatever, no, no go to healthcare.gov. That's what you want to do. And when you get there, go to uh, you want to find local help. So local help dot healthcare dot gov. Put in your zip code and find people who know those programs. Now, the problem with healthcare is that it's still run by a lot of people who just want to make money. <laughs> so that's what you have to be careful of, the sharks. So in the people, there's navigators, they call them, healthcare navigators. And the best navigators are one that are getting grants from the government to help you for free. So they're not selling insurance. A lot of these navigators are really selling you insurance. So they represent one company or whatever, and they say they represent it all. But it's hard if somebody's paying you, <laughs> paying for your lunch <laughs> and uh, you can't badmouth them. You're going to steer people that way, good or bad. Uh, it's just human nature. So you want to go to uh, localhelp.healthcare.gov. Now, and to get independent help or just fill it out yourself, it's pretty easy at healthcare.gov and you could see what it is and see if there's anything close to $10. I mean, listen, 80% of the people are paying $10 or less. Healthcare is so important uh, for you to survive and be, have the, uh, the energy you need to get through this life. And that's what it all is. You know how tough it is. So you have to have the ammunition, the strength, the resilience or whatever. And healthcare is so important. And we're down on the, you know, way down on the bottom of providing health care to our people. If you're rich, you got great health care. If you're not rich, man, you got Zippo. Yeah. And that's why here, ten dollars. And what's neat about these programs is all preventative health care is free, like checkups and things like that, just to see if you're okay or catch something early. Catch something early, you could live a hell of a lot longer. Are you put it off, put it off, put it off. And if someone's going to charge you two, three hundred bucks just to see, you know, to make your mind at ease, you ain't got three hundred bucks, right? So you screw it, I'll get through it. Uh, oh, that's good. Screw it. I'll get through it. <laughs> I always look for those headlines. <laughs> so that's what you want to do. So healthcare.gov, uh, try, play around there, look what it is. Uh, find the uh, community navigators, not the salesmen that are on, on Google and things like that. Here's another thing. If you're in Medicare uh, or, or 
uh, Medicare. They have free counselors just for Medicare. Okay. And they're at SHIP, S-H-I-P, and then H-E-L-P dot org. They're all over the country. They get grants. And they're not selling insurance, but they'll tell you because Medicare can be a little complicated. Uh, and so they're there to help you for free. Okay, now when do you have to apply? Well, if you want coverage by the 1st of January, you have to apply by December 15th. Okay, if you miss December 15th, then you have till January 15th to start coverage in February 1st. So you have a month or two uh, to get coverage. If you want it to start on January 1, then you have two days. If you want to start it on February 1, you have a month and two days, okay? Start getting help. Learn about healthcare. Uh, and there's a lot of free services. If you, if you don't do this or you're stuck for some reason, you can't. But see if you get this first. I mean, you you um, uh, it, it's just so important. Maybe because I'm an old fart or whatever. <laughs> I know, man, that's the most important thing I got in my life now, because if I'm not healthy, I can't do anything. And if you're, you know, almost 80 like me or 40 or 50, it's the same thing. You can't contribute more if you don't have good health. Uh, things sneak up on us in the healthcare. That's a minefield out there. And you could step on a mine, uh, <laughs> a mine, uh, you know, an underground IUD, <laughs> whatever it is, <laughs> without even knowing it. So you got to get those checkups and, you know, if they're going to charge you two, 300 bucks, you're going to put that off. If they're free, man, you're going to go and stay healthy and, and be with us longer and, and give to the rest of us. And that's what it's all about. You got to have something to give. <laughs> so if you're laying down in a box, man, you can't give anything. <laughs> so get out there and get that health care. <laughs>